What's up, people? I'm back. I know I said uh, I was going to do an interview with uh, the guy I'm rolling with and everything another day, but we might as well do it the same day. We're about to split off. We're over here by Nashville right now, and he's going to go up north, and I'm going to keep going east, so I'm going to jump into it. I got a bunch of questions to ask him so I can get to know him a little better. You guys can get to know him a little better. We can find out uh, where he came from, where he's going, and uh, how he got there with his uh, trucking journey. Show you who he is. How y'all doing? We work at the same company. He's uh the reason I'm here at this company, matter of fact. So we'll jump in and uh, find out who he is. Oh well, I guess we'll face both of us. Nah, I got older, man. I gotta ask the questions. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You know how this works? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You got it. What's your name? My name's uh, DJ. Where you from? Uh, from Houston, Texas. Another Houston, Texas representative. Oh, My yeah. last one was from Houston. Boy, these Houston boys, boy. Yeah, we actually I just can't used to work get rid together, of me and his last student, Jose. Oh, yeah. Used to work together in the oil field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how'd you uh, find out about me? Uh, Through YouTube. I was you on YouTube looking at flatbed videos, and I started watching yours more for some reason. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what made you want to get into trucking? Um, Big one. Before I even started watching your videos, I wanted to do a hot shot trucking. I didn't have any experience I was like you know of course anything you get into you gotta learn what you're doing before you just jump out there and try to do it or you might fail oh yeah so uh, I was like you know I need to get started somewhere and I seen his videos and LaShawn's and they kind of explained the way prior mink works you know uh, it's a good beginner program you don't make the most money starting out but I mean prime is a very good company to go and get your CDL and train so, I mean, it worked out for me. I learned a lot from them, and I wouldn't be where I am today without going to Prime. All right, so you started at Prime. Now you left Prime. Where'd you go? I went to, I went home, actually, and I started a automation business, which is low-voltage electronics and, you know, home security and whatnot. So, so um started doing that. Wasn't making enough money. Uh, went and worked for a local, um, what do you want to call them? Food delivery company. Still driving a uh, day cab. We all started doing that. I've done the same thing. Yeah, it was a local job doing reefer. I had to unload they, everything with a dolly. They suck, don't they? It's sucks, early, man. early morning shift. Early morning shift. You stay out there all day. It don't matter the type of weather. It wasn't for me. Yeah, I feel you. It yeah. wasn't for me either. All right, uh, next question. Uh, what made you want to get in the hot shot? Um, honestly, it's kind of crazy. I grew up in the country, I kind of like big trucks and stuff, and I see these guys hauling around these trailers and different equipment. And I just really like the type of freight that flatbed guys haul. So, you know, I was like, why don't I get a smaller truck or, you know, something like that instead of getting to 18 wheeler. And just kind of, for a year or so, it just kept, you know, getting pushed back and pushed back. And that's how I ended up going to Prime to get the training. And I was like, eventually I'll hot shot, which I'm doing now. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's really, I mean, the only reason, I mean, I like the big trucks. I like this type of lifestyle, the places we go. You know, it's always He said he just somewhere. liked the big trucks, but he drive that little tiny truck. <laughs> I'm going to let him make it this time. <laughs> what type of uh, tiny setup did you buy and why? Uh, my big truck that I bought, uh, I bought a 2012 Ford F-350 with a, uh, I'm pulling a 40-foot gooseneck behind it. Um, the reason I bought a Ford... I like the body style of it, one. Two, I didn't really have too many options. I'm 22 years old, so I don't really have the my credit established. So my mother-in-law actually helped me get the truck. And uh, the trailer's actually in my business name, which I had the personal guarantee. But um, I can tell you right now, it ain't a lot of, of, it's not a lot of 22-year-olds out here that's already like established at that not. level that you're at. Right, so I kind of have to, you know, make do with what I had, you know, no excuses, so. I asked her to co-sign on the truck, and she did so, and I got the trailer, and it all just started happening, and uh, yeah, that's kind of why I really got a Ford, that's what I seen at the dealership, it was a nice price, low mileage, uh, the trailer, the same thing, it was a, uh, it's not an expensive trailer, but it's it's in the mid-range, you know, don't have the air ride, none of that, but I don't need none of that. Alright, alright, is it uh, hard being an owner-operator? Um, I would say every day I'm still learning. Uh, the guy who I'm leased to, uh, a and Hotshot, he's a very good guy. Uh, 
I'm learning with him. He's not, he's actually learning himself. He's been in business about two years or so. I think he said right. Yeah. So um, it's I kind of have support. You know, he helps me out. I help him out. We all look out for each other. Randy has oh, a lot yeah, of knowledge nice. and we're a nice little family over here. Yeah, it's a family business. So uh, you know, we all look out for each other and make it work. But I mean, I haven't ran into any crazy problems. Normal owner operator problems. You know, everything relies on you. But um, yeah, we're like a family. We all help each other out. The guy I'm leased to, he actually helped me uh, with starting. I ran into a couple problems starting up. Gave a guy some money. I mean, young and dumb. Didn't get a receipt and stuff. And kind of took my money. Had to get it back. And kind of threw me way off. So this guy helped me out and, uh, you know, took me on to the company. And got me making some money. So I, I wasn't all screwed up. But, you know, I mean, you live and learn. It all worked out in the end. I'm glad I actually came to this company because... It's helping me, you know, get a stable income from my... Jumping into my next question. Uh-oh. What's your was, uh, question? Since we were talking about family, uh, I was going <laughs> to ask you, oh, do family, you have a yeah. family, and how is it being uh, being away from them as a driver on the road? Yeah, like I said, I got a two-year-old and a wife, so uh, at first it wasn't too much of a problem, but I'm kind of starting to see it, you know, weigh on my family a little bit. But, you know, we're going to change that eventually, and... Oh yeah, it you always know, weighs on the family a little bit more. I'll, you I'll make it work, you know. You're getting accustomed to the aspect of doing everything out here on the road and everything, and they're at home just missing you and missing you. And right. They're and, you seeing know, that you're being gone more than you're noticing you're being gone. Right. And you know, some guys say, "Oh, you know, you're bringing in money," but you know, money it doesn't buy love at all. I mean, it's your family is everything. So this money right. is nothing. You know, you can get that anywhere, but. It's starting to weigh on me a little bit, but at the end of the day, I got to do what I got to do until I can change that position and, you know, be home more, which I do plan to do. I'm going to start a small fleet eventually and, you know, lease it on here where I'm at. So. All right. Do you, uh, you have a social media? Uh, I do. I mainly use Instagram. My Instagram name is Black Horse Logistics. It's L-O-G-I-S-T-I-X. Uh, I put it on, uh, I tag it on here. Yeah, he'll tag it. I, I post almost every load on there and kind of tell you what it is, but. Why did uh why you choose that name for your business? Uh, <laughs> it's actually kind of obvious. Uh, it's multiple reasons. One, I mean, you know. Uh, two, I chose it because I copied another trucking company because I didn't want the name to sound like too small of a company due to like business credit reasons and applying for loans. I was reading, you know, you don't want to sound like too small of a company when you're asking for money from people. So okay, that's, okay, I mean, that's, that's smart. Why. All right, uh, let's jump to another one. How do you like the difference between 18 wheeler and a hot shot? Since uh, you said you started with Prime, so you were driving one of the 10 speeds, and then you jump into hot shot, and uh, your truck's automatic, right? Yeah. <clears throat> what you trying to say? In so, uh, like, how, how you like the difference? You've been driving the 18 wheeler in a, in a uh, regular truck over the road. Well, one, I wasn't at Prime that long, but driving 10 speed, I would say I got probably six months experience driving uh, 10 speed. Um, I actually miss 18 wheel. You know, you got the seat with the air on it, hitting all them bumps, you don't feel so uncomfortable. Cause <laughs> in this dually, man, it's uncomfortable, real uncomfortable. But, uh, I mean, if I had to choose between getting a 18 wheel set up and a hot shot, I would do the hot shot all, all over again. One, because my setup actually isn't as expensive as a uh, 18 wheeler, but you got some hot shot guys, they go and spend, you know, Eighty thousand dollar truck, oh, twenty, yeah, yeah. thirty thousand dollar trailer. It makes no sense. I mean, you might as well get eighteen wheeler. But hey, that's that's them. I'm not worried about it. But uh, I mean, I enjoy the hot shot. I use it as my work truck and personal truck, and uh, I just take my signs off and run like that. I mean, I can use it as my personal truck. We got the okay. uh, personal conveyance mode for uh, on the ELD. So. All right, what's the difference between Mega Carrier with Dispatch and being an own operator since you're recently on a load board now? Um, uh, well, Prime, most of y'all probably know if you worked at Prime, Dispatch kind of just send you a load and you take it. I mean, you deny it, you might not get a load at all that day. So I definitely didn't like that, and being able to go certain places or getting home when you needed to, it's kind of hard for them to route you. They really don't want to do it. But here at this company, like I say, it's small and it's family-owned, uh, we all communicate. We can we get home every weekend. Sometimes we run out for three days and come back and be done for the week. But uh, I mean, I like it. 
Uh, but you, I'm working you on the It's definitely different being. All right, we got a phone call, but we're going to jump right back into it. So I think I was saying, uh, you said it's definitely different, though, being able to, to see all these loads on the load board. Right, besides, right. Opposed to telling or uh, taking whatever the dispatch says that there is only. Right, like I said, I mean, the main thing, too, is, you know, I can kind of choose what direction I want to go in instead of, you know, getting just sent to a dead area. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, all, all that's always a big part, being able to choose where you want to go. Right, and, and kind of like when you want to go. Right. But, uh, and like I say, at the same time, I'm learning because... I'm booking, you know, my own loads, and uh, I also have a dispatcher, but it's not forced dispatch. So, we, like I said, we work together on it, and uh, I'm learning. So I, I like it. I mean, kind of go where I get want to go. All right, cool, cool. Overall, do you think it was a good idea to get in the hot shot? Um, I think you answered that earlier. I don't think I did. Uh, for me, yes. For some people, no. Like I say, it's uncomfortable. It's uh, the sleeping condition is different. You gotta, you know, get a hotel. So you spend money there, but it pays for itself in a way. Yeah, I think it's too many people jumped in the hot shot, and it kind of flooded the industry. Yeah, there was just too many people trying to do it, and no experience. All these guys going out getting trucks and trailers because it wasn't real expensive to do, and it just wasn't enough work for it, especially in one area. But over the road. You think Hot Shot's pretty good over there? Yeah, road? definitely. I got a couple buddies. They run local, and I mean, they make decent money, and they're home every night. But uh, I didn't get into this to make decent money, so it's I dog run eat over dog the road. for the local, though. Especially oh, out yeah. of Houston, there's so many trucks. Local, I mean, five minutes. I mean, not even two minutes. I little gone, you know. So I mean, I, I ain't got time for all that. Just run over the road and run out, come on back, and be done. Right. But uh, I was kind of used to it anyway from Prime. But, I mean, like I say, for me it works, but for some people it may not. You may not want to run over the road, so it's going to work different for you, and I don't know how it works doing local, so I don't ask me nothing like that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. That's going to conclude the interview with uh, with DJ. Uh, like I said earlier, we work at the same place and everything, and uh, he's the reason I am. I'm here right now. When I left Jones, which uh, I still got to make a video and touch on while I left him and everything, but... Uh, they needed a driver here and uh, the hot shot and I always wanted to try hot shot out. So I never planned on staying at a, in a quality truck. So I, I jumped on the opportunity that uh, he had. They needed a driver, like I said, and I jumped in a Dodge Ram 3500 with a 40 foot gooseneck and I was pulling pretty much the same as his, everything. We was running a lot of places, the same places and everything, just loads going the same area. So we was always running together and everything. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's how I got started over here where I am. And uh, I just recently got out of the Dodge and into 18 wheeler again. So it's kind of like the new year starting off in a new new vehicle because I haven't really been running this new year yet. This is what, almost two weeks in and I'm just now finally on my first load. Yeah, it was hard to get them to come on over here. <laughs> yeah, I was it was. Uh, convince them for weeks, like, man, come on over here. Yeah, but, uh, it's hard to make that leap because you don't know what you're getting into and everything. And I yeah, mean, I, mean, I hadn't done hot shot before, so I didn't know how good it was going to work out. It was a small fleet. I mean, it's a fleet of what, six? Well, seven now. Yeah, but, uh, and uh, it's going to be growing. I mean, oh, yeah, definitely. Well, we're definitely going to be growing. Like DJ said, in the future, I mean, start a small fleet or something. I mean, hopefully, that's his goals. That's my goals, too. We both want to have our own little fleet yeah. going. I mean, it ain't going to be overnight or nothing, but one day, Wait, if I mean, uh, you I'm guys are still watching. Division, but uh, I don't think he's taking on any more hot shots. I think he's kind of converting over to uh, all 18 wheelers. Right. Which, I mean, they do the same. They really do. So, I mean, if you're looking to get into yeah, 18 wheelers. Yeah, from what I've experienced, uh, hot shot ain't that bad. I mean, you can make pretty same. much the same money in both. It just depends on how you run and where you run. Yeah. And that's just all it is to it. I mean, and the expenses are lower in the hot shot, like I say, depending yeah, on your setup. As long setup, as you I take mean, care of your, your equipment. equipment and everything, it can be put your money away for a but it day. ain't for everybody so don't just because you uh you're hearing good things and everything don't run out and jump and buy oh, your truck and trailer and, and try to do what we do everybody can't do it i mean you still need to learn it's still trucking you're doing the same things your log books everything exact same as a, as a big truck still need a cdl for the hot yeah. shot you still need I mean, to be careful and a lot of everything. people think hot shotting is easier. It's not easier. It's actually the same. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's just a little bit smaller. His truck and trailer is not that much smaller than mine. Like we can jump out right now. I'm parked right next to him. 
You can see how long it is. He's dang near as long as me, and I got a 53-foot trailer. Yeah. I mean, we haul the same type of stuff. I mean, the weights. Yeah. I kind of stay under 15,000 because that's the way I want to run my equipment. But, I mean, some guys yeah. haul 20, whatever they haul. But, like I said, it's all up to you on how you want to run your equipment. But Right. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not easier. It's the same securement. It's the same rules apply. You just like, not I mean, see a lot of hot shot guys out there. Truck. They don't really know, so... Oh yeah, I've, I've been passing a bunch. That's one thing I've been noticing since I've been in a hot shot. Yeah, a I've been paying attention to a lot of the other guys, and uh, they do some crappy work, man. That's, I, I'd be blunt with it. I've been seeing some crappy security men, tarp jobs, uh, really bad tarp jobs. I don't know. It's it's so many inexperienced guys out here, I guess, and uh, they just don't care about how they secure loads and and what they do. And it's like you you gotta take more pride and respect into what you do and, and be careful and make sure it's done right and everything yeah because uh if somebody's watching and, and dlt definitely watching that's why you see a lot of the guys uh having trouble with dlt but let me jump out here and uh, show you his rig again i know i showed it in my last video but we'll walk around and look at it again real quick and uh go ahead and end this video and look for the next video for me to hopefully be explaining why i left jones and everything i mean it wasn't on a bad note or anything, nothing bad about jones so that'll be in my next video but let's jump out here and look at his rig all right park next to each other before we split off for the night he's only about four feet behind me but uh this is a f350 super duty i mean this truck been holding up real good i've been in my dodge and uh that dodge broke down on me quite a few times we actually teamed about three three weeks maybe three and a half weeks in this truck right here and i really thank him for that because uh when my truck broke down i wasn't generating any revenue and he sacrificed his revenue to let me ride with him just so i can make a little bit of paycheck and uh we had some good times while we was out on the road and everything but his truck has been holding up real good and everything so it's a nice little truck he got good thing he picked a good one but this is set up. I'll walk around and I'll show you his inside. I know it's dark, but it's just a 40 foot trailer. 35 plus 5. He got the mega ramps on the back. He got a 15,000 pound load on there right now that's tarped. Let's see yeah it's about five feet different back here so overall he's about nine feet shorter than me so uh it's pretty long truck and trailer are you showing the tape yeah that definitely makes a difference when you uh you traveling all these miles being able to keep running and not have to stop yeah, it's a little gravity feed yeah that was a nice little investment he had it's top locked too, so people can't be stealing the uh, diesel. Just look at a little key to it. Yeah, that's good. Ain't had nobody try, but I mean. Black horse logistics. That's me right there. You show me inside. It's a little dirty, but uh. That GPS up there. Got a little CB radio on there, a little GPS. You got a CB nice and installed right there, beside his seat. GPS. Fill out the window right now. You got a sunroof. Pretty nice, all the stuff he carried with him and stuff. There's a junkie back there. Oh yeah, mine used to be junkie too. But yeah, it ain't, it ain't bad. I mean, he got a nice thing going for him. But uh, anything else you want to say before we end it? Uh, you cold? Yeah, I am cold. I'm <laughs> tired too. We got a lot of ground to cover. Ready, ready to uh, knock out these last, whatever we're going to drive tonight? Yeah. Uh, we both got the same distance, but opposite directions, so. Yeah. We're both going to be driving to about 10, 11 o'clock tonight to finish out and uh, see where tomorrow takes us. But uh, yeah. thanks for watching and uh, see you guys on the next video. All right, y'all. Yeah.